Today, we travel all the way from Kent, Washington to Atlanta, Georgia to meet with one of the country's premier sweeping companies, Atlanta Sweeping Service. They've graciously allowed us behind the scenes to view all their policies and procedures that have elevated them to one of the very best sweeping companies in the country. As we show you their daily routines and tremendous people, you will get a rare look at a very efficient organization. Camershy owner Bill Schneider, Vice President Jimmy Wetloffer, and Perpetual Smiler and General Manager Nathan Walton have developed and implemented procedures and a simple set of rules that hang on a board that the drivers can't help but notice as they leave on their evening routes. These simple rules set the stage as drivers arrive in the immaculate and organized shop. Every tool and part has a place, and there is nothing unnecessary or wasteful about the organization. Every shift starts with the nightly meetings. Did here. Uh, appreciate everybody getting here on time. Make sure you're on time all the time and ready for work. Make sure you drive careful, slow down. Uh, understand what the speed limit is out there. Uh, anything 65, uh, 65 on 285, anything can't go over 75 at any time. Uh, always do a quality job, write up everything in the rear, help out each other and work smart. Take care of each other, take care of your truck and take care of equipment. Guys, roll call is at 4 o'clock. Roll call is at 4 o'clock. We also have a roll call at 6 a.m. also. Call in your lunch break, note all your breaks on your route sheet. Never at any time go to sleep in the truck or anywhere outside the truck. Okay. Uh, make sure we uh, the safety rules that we went over last week before I left here, make sure we, we adhere to all of that, make sure everything is safe around here when we come in in the morning. If you need any extra time on any uh, property out there that you think need to be cleaned up, make sure you contact Justin and notify him that uh, you need some extra time out there. Uh, with that said, if there's not any questions or any questions or anything, that's it guys, get her done. After getting last minute special instructions, picking up the phones, and an occasional tire repair, it's out to do what they do best, clean up Atlanta. Alright, go ahead. Alright, you're good to go. Thank you. you check the radio and everything? Yes sir. Oh, okay. Mileage y'all wrote down? Yes, sir. Yes, All right. Sir. Yeah. That would be a good thing. All right. Data. Drive safe. After a brief safety, equipment, and gas card check, Nate carefully orchestrates the departure of each Nighthawk sweeper like a flight deck officer on an aircraft carrier. In the morning, the carefully organized arrival begins. Just as they all departed together, all the driver's equipment start to arrive at about the same time. They all work as a team as Justin, one of the supervisors, helps check in equipment. A real team atmosphere is encouraged with the attitude that no one is done until everyone is done. Each driver is encouraged to help one another to finish their jobs. After unloading the gas and blowers, the drivers are guided back to the on-site dumpsters to offload the efficient Nighthawk sweepers. After a quick underneath spray down, the units then head to a special area to get a quick car wash. All the equipment needed to effectively clean the units is right where it needs to be. As one by one the trucks arrive in the wash area, they are given a thorough wash down before heading back to their designated spots. After getting the outside bath, the insides of all vehicles are thoroughly wiped down. As each driver completes his or her own truck, they will then return to one of the stations to help complete all the remaining vehicles. Any anomalies in the routes are reported to the supervisor via the route sheet and any equipment repairs are noted and addressed. Regular and preventive maintenance, just like everything else at Atlanta Sweepers, 
is scheduled and performed at precise intervals to limit inventory and maintain optimum performance in the trucks. With mileage on the trucks equaling 120,000 or more in just three years, it is essential to stay on top of maintenance. And if you're still wondering if you should make the switch to Nighthawks and whether or not they can do the job for you, here is one night's worth of trash in two dumpsters from Atlanta Sweepers. After all the equipment is meticulously put in its designated spot, it's time to break down the past night's activities. We spent two, 282 gallons in all last night. So, that, so that's, run, that's running right in the average of of what we spend every day. If I'd have saw something out of whack, man, I would have, I would have said something. And what I'll do now is give this to, uh, if he's not finished, I'll go out there and do it. Go out there and put all the averages on the board, and uh, and so the drivers when they come in tonight, they can, uh, they can see what the averages. Yeah, so they can see what the averages, so they can kind of keep, keep pretty much intact of, of what they're doing here and what they have to do to try to get everything pretty well caught up. Yeah, it, it's only a few things. They, I mean, you either. Either they're driving down the road with the auxiliary turned on high, could be part of it. They could uh, jackrabbit starts, you know, shoving the gas up and down, speeding. There's probably the only a few things that I know of that could be that can be creating a problem why they're having such high gas mileage. Uh, I'm trying to think of a few other things that probably would create that problem. Uh, pumping gas for somebody else, <laughs> a big girlfriend or something. <laughs> but, uh, after calculating the mileage, Nathan records the averages for each truck and driver on a board for all to see. With so many vehicles in use every night, this is a great way to identify any problems and focus on training. Not a lot of drive time, so that's what keeps him in that 7.9. So he's, with that, we kind of look past that. And it's on, it, if you see it for the rest of the week too, it'll be that same way. But if you notice what happened, it looked like at the end of the week, he averaged out of 9.8. So I guess I look at something here, so he's going up somewhere. Either probably what happened is they spent more time on the lot or his, his lots are not that dirty yet. Okay. It's, it's done through handprint. What we what do is each, each employee has a ID number and when he comes in what he does is he put his he put his number in and push enter and my number is 523 enter. What it does it lights up all the fingers here. What you have to do is just stick your hand in there and make all the lights go out. Once the light goes out, green light comes on until you clock in. Same thing now. So the only, only way you can, so nobody can clock in from being late. Nobody can clock in and say you was here and you wasn't. The only way they do it, they'd have to take your arm. So we don't have anybody here with no prosthetic arms or anything. So it's every, every quarter I try to have a safety meeting with these guys. So this was the month for the safety meeting. And, you know, you can kind of see out there how stuff can, you can easily run over somebody if you ain't watching. And, you know, guys backing up, guys behind the truck. And, and that's the thing, they should be blowing it home when they get to watching the truck. They should be rolling down the driver's side window so they can hear me talking to them or hear somebody yelling and screaming out there. The first thing I told them, don't take it personal when I'm screaming out there because what I'm trying to do is stop from running over somebody so they don't take that personal. What I'm doing here is all I do here is, just, like I said, is the morning checklist here. And all I'm doing is checking to make sure every, the truck's okay. We go out there, we should see all the trucks. The truck should be, all the, the, the flaps should be down, showing that the Costco cars or the gas cars are still there. All the hoses should be clipped on the trucks there to make sure there's no holes are straight and loose there. And normally he'd do a final walk when he go through in order to make sure everything is, is pretty well intact out there. I don't know if he did anything, the side flap and all, but that's something that we have on the sheet here that he checks every day, so he should be checking that. And on this here, only thing I see is, is, is the pull cord on the hand blower, which he's already repaired. The right, uh, the right rear flat on 432 is already repaired, and 435 we sent to Allen Vigil. Yeah, 438 and 441 had a low tire and he's already got that pretty well intact.
Our review of Atlanta Sweeping Services would not be complete without an acknowledgement of the backbone of the company, the operations staff. I'd like to introduce the A-Team with over 100 years of combined experience. They are truly the best of the best. Number one, with over 15 years of service, Mr. Danny Mead in truck 421. Next is Mark Klontz, assistant supervisor with over 10 years of service, truck 432. Next is Mr. Wayne Kimball, team leader with over 10 years of services for truck 426. Dennis Tanner, nine, over nine years of service as a team leader, truck 430. Mr. Mike Brunier, team leader, six plus years of service, truck 425. Mr. Robbie Smart, team leader, six plus years of service, truck 429. Ms. Tammy McGill, senior driver, five years of service, truck 418. Mr. Matt Wood, five years of service, senior driver, truck 424. Five years of service, senior driver, Mr. Roy Robertson, truck 431. Five years of service, senior driver, Mr. Charles Shy, truck 422. With over three years of service, Mr. Torrance Ford, truck 417. Three plus years of service, Mr. LeJay Burks, truck 441. Three plus years of service, Mr. Marquise Daniels, truck 423. Three plus years of service, Mr. Roger Dr. Dukes, truck 434. Two and a half years of service, truck 427, Mr. Eddie Morgan. With two years of service, truck 438, Mr. Ron McKinney. Two years of service, truck 439, Mr. Les Dean. Two years of service, truck 436, Jason Wilson. Please join us in giving yourself a round of applause for your good service. I want to say too, we appreciate the B team too, who's also a part of this thing to make everything such successful as, as we're doing it right now. So the B team also deserve a round of applause also. Thank you. What was that? That's the beginning of my morning and now what I do is go through all this here, check off anything that I think I hadn't seen before, send it out, compare it to any of the notes we got there, and, and I go from there. All right again. Cut. <laughs> we bid a fond farewell and thank the people of Atlanta Sweeping Services, a truly innovative and dedicated group. The best of the best.